The North American Interfraternity Conference is taking big steps to keep fraternity members safe. It's making an impact on students right here in the Wabash Valley. News 10's Sarah Lehman joins us now live in the newsroom to explain what that big change is. Rondrell, this comes after pledges at Penn State, Florida State, Louisiana State, and Texas State all died after alcohol-related hazing. Now the North American Interfraternity Conference, or the NIC, has banned hard liquor from any and all events or parties that have fraternities. That's something that fraternities here at Indiana State have to follow, too. Colleges across the country have been back in session for a couple of weeks now. With that comes homework, Greek life, and parties. Now the North American Interfraternity Conference is making sure students are staying safe. This is a ban on hard liquor at fraternity events or within fraternity facilities. That goes for everyone, even if you're 21 or older. Fraternities across the nation have been under fire after four deaths last year from alcohol-related hazing. At Indiana State University, though, a policy much like this one has been in place for years. Many of them are already at a place of um, no hard liquor should be available, but the university has implemented those policies back in 2012, so it shouldn't have much of an impact on us. One member of the Pi Kappa Alpha fraternity at ISU says... It isn't going to change the way we do anything, no. And he says, as a fraternity, they've historically never been known as partiers. Typically, um, do a lot of brotherhood events, just uh, hanging out and things like that, and that's not really ever something that's ever involved with us or ever been involved with us. And he says, Lo and behold, I think it's a good idea. Just something to be aware of, uh, gain knowledge of, and have education about. Now, this ban includes any alcohol that is 15% alcohol by volume or higher. Each chapter has until September 1st to start implementing this rule. That's so they can sit down and rewrite any rules or constitutions that they need to. We're now live in the newsroom. Sarah Lehman, News 10. Back to you.